Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Tax Support channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show how to get the previous start date time and end date time. What it is, why do we need to fetch the start date time and date time of the previous date? So guys, before I explain all those, I will request everybody <clears throat> to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. Now, let us consider a scenario. You are trying to make a integration in Oracle integration, wherein you need to fetch the data from your employee table between the previous start date and previous end date. Meaning you want to get the data of the previous date. For example, you are sitting today. Today is 5th of October, 2020. <clears throat> of October, 2020. And now when you run this interface today on 5th of October, 2020, what you want, you want to get the data of the last date. But it should get the data of the last date, meaning the previous start date should be like 2020-10-04, 00-00-00, the start time of the previous date, the last date. <clears throat> and here it should go 2020-10-04-23-59-59, meaning exact data of the last date. Let's see how this can be fetched in integration. So for this, I am going to write an app driven orchestration, the end-to-end -end integration you can do. But now let me show you how to extract those two dates. So let's say extract previous date. So use a rest connection and let's say extract date. Click on the next button and here let's say <clears throat> dates. The verb will be cat. I will not send any request parameter, but I will send a, I will get a response. So I will choose this, configure this endpoint to receive the response and in the response i will choose json a sample schema and here what i am going to do let's say previous is start date time and then previous and date time Okay. Okay. Next and finish. Now in this mapper, I am going to do the transformation. So <clears throat> the response mapper previous start date time meaning the last day. Okay. So here we have a function called current date and time, which will give you the current date and time. So let's put it here. But now you want to get the yesterday's date. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a minus here. So now you want it to minus one day here. So here we have a function called day, day time duration. So this takes one argument and it takes like how many days you want it to add or subtract. So you have to add you have to give a string here, let's say P one D one day. So you wanted to subtract one day from the current date and time. And I will convert this into a string here. Okay. 
And now just see if this is fine or not. Yes, this is fine. Now, what I want, <clears throat> I also want, oh, I also want to substring. I wanted to get the date before t. So when you will use this current date and time, it will give you a date and time in a manner like this. 2022-05-05 and t. So I want like this. So I want before t. So I will make a function called substring before. So before this, I will make a function substring before And here I will say before T, capital T. Fine. Now, in this, I want it to concat 0, 0. Concat. And then I will do a concatenation space 0, 0, colon, 0, 0, colon, 0, 0. That's it. Now, it will give you the exact start time. Same thing I need to do in this previous create target node, put it the same function. And here you say 23, 59 and 59. That's it. It's just simple. And let's try to run this integration and see if this gives us the desired output or not. So let me run this integration. HTTP, save, save and close. Run this, activate. Test. You don't need to pass anything here, test. So here you see, 49, sorry, 4, 10, 2020, 0, 0, colon, 0, 0. I missed it. I need to give colon, but you can make it correction. We need to give colon, colon here. And you can see 23, colon, 59, colon, 59. So this is the exact format which you need to pass in your database. And you will get the data of the last date. So this is how you can achieve this use case. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn. You can follow me there, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. That's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.